Have you had a chance yet to test out the new Share for Review feature in InDesign? It's pretty cool. This is Anne Marie Concepcion from InDesign Secrets, and I'm going to give you a quick tour of how it works. It was introduced in InDesign 2020 as a, a mid year uh, update, and in 2021, which I'm using here, they added a few more uh, features, especially as far as commenting is concerned. Now, this, is, this can work in addition to the existing uh, export to PDF and import the comments. But with this Share for Review, you do not have to export to PDF. Instead, you can just choose Share for Review and your commenters can access that in the browser where they have commenting tools. And when they add comments, it gets updated in InDesign's special panel just for that. Pretty neat. So to do so, go to the new Share widget up here and start off by choosing Share for Review. Now, I've actually already done so, and I'm showing you that I accessed, uh, my access settings are set to public, which I think is better than invite only, because with invite only, you have to know their Adobe logon, and so do they, and I find that's pretty unusual um, with most people. So I just choose public, and then I just click this little uh, clipboard icon to copy the link to my clipboard, and then I send them the link in an email or you know on Slack or Trello or something. You can require a password if you want. That's all you need to do to get it started. Nothing changes here, and you can close this document, go on your way, or leave it open. So I'm going to jump over to Safari where I have this open. I've already, um, my client, let's say, has opened this up in Safari. And here's what it looks like on their side. Now, because they all they need is a browser, this means it makes no difference if they're on Windows or Mac, if they're using a mobile device or desktop, it's pretty cool. They can see uh, the document that I shared with them by scrolling up and down. They can see uh, quick little page thumbnails. It's useful if it's a long document. And of course, they have the commenting tools up here, not quite as robust as uh, Acrobat or Readers, but they do the job. Uh, and then a commenting panel can be closed and opened. At the bottom, there's a little toolbar that can uh, let them navigate the document, zoom in and zoom out, fit page, fit width, so on. So let's come down here and actually make a comment. I'm going to click over here by the word binder, and I'll zoom in a bit so we can see it better. And I'll go ahead and make a comment. So let's look at the commenting tools. Um, in 2021, they added these three text tools, Replace, Strike Through, and Highlight. And then we still have Place a Pin and Draw a Shape. And you can also just make a general comment without choosing any tool about the spread itself. So I could say, for example, beautiful work, which is what all my clients say. Now, this is the first time I'm making a comment since I loaded the... Um, review in my browser so it's want to know who I am. I could log in with my Adobe ID or I could just enter my name which is Joe Schmo, my favorite alter ego. Okay, so Joe Schmo said beautiful work one second ago. Now let's jump back to InDesign and open up the review panel. Look at that. It immediately populates the review panel because this is all happening in your Creative Cloud space. Just like how Creative Cloud libraries automatically update. That's pretty cool. And I could reply to this as well. So I could say, thanks, and click Submit. And there's my reply. Now, sometimes I've found while testing this, it takes a while for the reply to come up. So we'll just move on. But there's also the text tool. So I could select this and say, replace this with um, envelope, replace envelope, uh, wrapper with envelope. And you get a different icon. So everything is set by spread. You can see spread one and spread two. Let's say on spread one, I'm going to uh, make a shape and I can change the color of my little markup tool. I'll choose green and I'll drag a circle around this guy and I'll say, love the typeface. So this is how it goes, is that the your clients can come back to this URL as it's convenient for them to add comments. You can have multiple people adding comments and you'll see everybody's comments here. You can reply to each other's comments and everything gets funneled back to InDesign as things happen. The, what they can't do though is the user can't download a PDF from here. All the comments have to be made here. And the comments that you make here don't make it into a PDF at all unfortunately. So there, it's two different workflows. Just keep that in mind. You might end up creating a PDF anyway to send to your clients. So over here, as I let's uh, if you select one of their comments, it gets highlighted here. 
So there it is. Now, right now, um, the automatic uh, resolving, like if you click this button, you could choose resolve. It's not quite working as it does in Acrobat with PDF reviews. So you're probably going to have to just do this manually. So if I select the word wrapper and change it with envelope, notice that that comment disappears. And the reason it disappears, oh, on map comments, um, it will disappear or it'll turn into that is because of this filter down here. So there's a filter that's automatically hiding and showing resolved comments. So like, for example, this guy, I could choose resolve because I'm happy with it. And so it disappears from the list. Okay. Uh, you can show or hide. Let me zoom out. And let's see. You can show or hide all comments. Like up here, there's that green guy. But if I sh hide it, I can click this little, oops, yeah, this little icon to show and hide, and it's thinking about it, so it's having a little difficulty right now. But that is essentially how it works. Uh, you go through, and as they add more comments, you can fix it. You can also then go to the Review Panel menu, choose Share for Review, and choose to update the link, meaning that your changes to that you've done to this layout will automatically populate the same URL that your clients are looking at. So you can say, check out that version, right? So that's pretty neat. I love it. Uh, check out Share for Review, and uh, I would love to hear what you think of it in the comments. I hope you found this tip helpful. Be sure to check out InDesignSecrets.com for thousands of InDesign articles and tutorials, and to download a free sample issue of our monthly magazine called InDesign Magazine. Thanks for learning with us.